Hey, how you doing? It's James here, your go-to solar energy expert, here to guide you step-by-step -step through all your solar options. I know there's a lot of misconception and misinformation about solar, and my goal is to educate homeowners just like you so you can make the best decision for your particular situation. In this video, I'm gonna go over the pg e rate plans. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much the rates has gone out from 2015 all the way up to now, which is January 2016. So this is something that pg e pretty much brainwashed us through all these years of monopolizing the electric industry. And I know when I've talked to a lot of homeowners, they don't really understand how pg e bills them or the rate increases every single year. But what we normally do uh, for the most of us, if we just pretty much open up that bill and whatever it says on there, that's what we pay for. That's where you cut a check and then we send it off to pg e But it's not fair for us to not really understand how they're billing us, but I think it's the, the time and the era for all of us to understand how pg e bills us every single month, right? Because we've never questioned before because there was no alternative source of energy, right? It's not like when you get upset with pg e you're like, you know what, I don't want your energy anymore, I'm gonna go to, to uh, James's electric company. There was no choice. So they did what they want until now. Now we have a choice on where we wanna buy our energy from. Do we wanna buy the dirty energy from pg e or do we wanna buy clean energy to provide energy for our home which is cleaner and better for our environment. And I'm also gonna update you guys on any type of rate increases because I know when you hear that there's a pg e rate increase, it's kinda hard to find that information and see exactly how much the rates have actually increased. So my promise to you is every time there's any type of changes with pg e whether or not if the prices are going up, whether or not if it goes down, which I never, I never see, um, I'll keep you guys posted and let you guys know what those changes are. So let's go ahead and jump over to my computer and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so let me go ahead and break this down for you. So as of uh, September, 2015 this is the last time pg e updated their rates uh, before the new year um tier one was at right around 17 cents per kilowatt hour tier two was right around 20 cents per kilowatt hour and tier three was at 25 cents per kilowatt hour and tier four was at 32 cents per kilowatt hour. So now let's take a look at what the tier rates are as of uh, January, 2016. So as of January, 2016, tier one is now at around 18 cents per kilowatt hour. Tier two is right around 22 cents per kilowatt hour. Tier three, it's right around 27 cents. And tier four, it's right around 35 cents per kilowatt hour. As so you can see um, side by side, it doesn't look like it went up too much, right? But if you took these numbers, and if you divided it by four, the average would be right around 23 cents per kilowatt hour, right? So as of September, 2015, the average is right around 23 cents. And if you took the tier numbers for 2016 and you divide it by four, the average would be right around 26 cents per kilowatt hour. So the delta difference from 2015 to now, it's right around three cents. And you're probably saying, you know what, James, that's not much. I mean, I could afford three cents, right? Who, who can't afford three cents? But let me break it down even more and show you guys what this three cents difference is from 2015 to 2016 and let's break it down to an actual dollar amount. Okay, so we said as of September 2015, the average rate was right around 23 cents. And for January 
2016, the average rate was right around 26 cents, right? So for example, if you use 1500 kilowatt hour in a month, and this is pretty common, um, common amount of usage, uh, energy usage for a month, and you multiply the 0.23 cents times the 1500 kilowatt hour that you use for that month, your bill will be right around 345 bucks. And if you did the same thing for January and multiplied 1500 kilowatt hour in a month, so 26 cents times 1500 kilowatt hour in a month, your bill is now 390 bucks. Meaning that from September 2015 till now, your bill increased $45, right? So now you can actually see that it's actually jumped up pretty high, right? From a delta difference of only three cents, which equals to $45 a month. And you can only imagine that it's only the beginning of 2016. So this is their, their first increase, right? First increase of 2016. Normally it increases about two to three more times by the end of the year. And like I said, I'll keep you guys posted on every single increase that pg &E does uh, throughout the year. But keep in mind that if you had a 1500 kilowatt usage uh, a few months ago, and right now, if you had the same exact usage, your bill just jumped up 45 bucks, right? <laughs> And most, most of the time, we don't even know that how much this increased, right? So I just wanted to show you guys like a basic idea that, you know, your bill is constantly going up and some people think it's only like a, a dollar or two, right? Maybe, oh yeah, you know what? Sometimes it only goes up maybe a dollar or two bucks, right? But that's not the case. Uh, you're actually paying $45 more than you did last year. And, and keep in mind as well that the PG&E rate increase it's right around four to six percent every single year these prices are going up right so you'll be able to control these rates by going solar and prevent this increase every single year by the local utility company so that concludes this video but before you take off please be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel so you guys get all of my updated videos especially when the rate increases come out you'll be able to get updates on that as well. If you guys wanna dive in deeper to learn all about your solar options, or you guys have more questions, make sure you head on over to my blog at www.jamesthesolarenergyexpert.com. And while you're there, I need you guys to do two things. The first thing is make sure you sign up for a free, personalized, no obligation solar quote that we'll go over together so you know exactly how much money you can save and install solar on your home. The second thing, make sure you download your free ebook. It's just a gift from me to you just for stopping by. The ebook is going to show you how to make basic to advanced upgrades to save you even more money on your energy bill. So that concludes this video and I'll see you in my blog.